Hey, hey, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Hashtasha, and today we are starting a new series on this channel, which I will probably rarely update in the future. And that series is not about the game you see in the background. That is just for your entertainment, so you see something while someone talks for 20 minutes. Otherwise, it's quite boring, and it's YouTube, you need sort of a video in the background. The game in the background is called Wind and Water Puzzle Battles. It's quite old. Um, which is the main reason why you see the black bars on the left and the right. And it's a puzzle game. You have to turn tiles and bring them into a diamond shape and then they pop and then you can do crazy stuff like uh, like combos and chains and time chains and blue time combos and super cancels and super cancel X combo time chain or <laughs> whatever. You get points and it's quite fun and it's really deep. Um, you can get it for free on wind-water.net, link in the bottom left corner. And that's about the game. By the way, a diamond shape is like the shape of the cursor. In case you haven't realized it yet. So this series, instead of being about this game, is going to be about my private life. It will be called something like smear line or something, because it smears a, a certain line. Because usually I don't talk about my private life on YouTube. I I have a line there. <laughs> but sometimes I do talk about my private life and that is when my private life affects like my YouTube channel. Like if I have to go to the dentist, I say, hey, I'm going to the dentist tomorrow, don't expect a video tomorrow. I say that in a random episode of the day. This time though, I couldn't really tell you that there won't be videos for like 10 days, which there weren't in case you haven't realized, you probably have. And if you follow me on Twitter, you already know it was because I was in hospital, but that's all the information I gave. And I couldn't really give more information because I, I had to go into the hospital like really, really quick. I couldn't organize anything. Like the time zone server. <laughs> I, I would have loved to give someone access to the server files, but I couldn't. I could just say, hey, I'm going to be back in like 7 to 10 days. <laughs> See ya, have fun. I'm going to restart the server. If it crashes, it's, it's bad. But, uh, yeah. So, anyways. To uh, describe why I've been in a hospital, I have to reach back into my youth, <laughs> sort of. Um, I suffer from a chronic illness and I have been for like 17 or 18 years or something. I don't exactly remember when because when it becomes part of your life you don't really remember the dates. At least I don't. Like at some point in my life I started eating ice cream with cornflakes on top. But uh, I don't know when but I do it all the time because it's great. <laughs> but uh, I have no idea when I started. And probably I have to stop doing that now. So I'm suffering from a chronic illness and the last few weeks I've been feeling worse and worse, like physically powerless and mentally sort of powerless. And at first I, I thought, hey, that's uh, because of my chronic illness, because that kind of stuff tends to happen every now and then and then it's over after a few days. This time though it uh, just wasn't over after a few days. It went on and on and got worse and worse. And so I knew that it probably wasn't because of that chronicle sickness. <laughs> I, I won't tell you what the chronicle thing is, at least not yet. Maybe that's a part of later episode or something, but uh, just not yet. So. I knew it had to be something else and I had a rough idea because of the job I learned way back. I was going to become a pediatrist and in case you have no idea what that is, it's like a doctor for your feet. Well, not really a doctor, more like a physiotherapist for your feet. Basically, it's a medicinal pedicure. And as a pediatrist, most of the people you treat are diabetics, like type 2 diabetes. Because uh, their feet have a tendency to go really bad. Just because high blood sugar levels do nerve damage and tissue and blood vessel damage. And your feet are like the furthest way from the middle of your body. So there's a longer nerves <laughs> and more blood vessels to attack. So the first thing that goes bad is usually your feet. 
and they need like medicinal pedicure or some of them need that a, a good portion of them anyways so I I knew a lot about diabetes mainly type 2 diabetes and uh, I came to the conclusion that uh, it might be diabetes uh, actually I was about 90% sure or something um, that is because uh, now how do I explain this? <laughs> it, first of all, it was like the fatigue. That's like a potential sign for diabetes. What tipped me over completely though was... was <laughs> you, you notice I haven't been speaking English for quite a few days. Um, what tipped me over was that uh, my urine was like glass clear. Even if I didn't drink a lot, my urine was glass clear and it was more urine than stuff I drank. <laughs> it was a lot and less clear. And that is kind of a sign that you go above your renal threshold. So you have so much blood sugar in your in your veins that your body tries to get rid of the sugar through your urine. It goes into your kidneys and then into your urine. You need a lot of water for that and that's why it's clear and you dry out and that's why you feel, or that's part of why you feel really bad. It's not everything. So I went to a doctor, said I want to do an OGTT, which is an oral glucose tolerance test. And they basically give you like high fructose, not high fructose, high glucose sugar syrup and you drink that and they measure your blood sugar levels when you drink that and one hour later and two hours later and then you can be about 99.99999% certain that you might have diabetes or not. Depends on the outcome of that. My doctor though didn't want to do that because uh, he said, well, <laughs> I question your methods because that urine thing, that's not like a diagnosis. That's just like an indicator for that. It doesn't have to be diabetes, obviously. So he questioned that and didn't want to do an OGTT. Instead, he took a urine sample and blood sample and turns out <laughs> you could see from the urine and blood sample that I have diabetes. Guaranteed. No question. So the next day I went to a diabe diabetologist, like a doctor for diabetes, and he told me I have diabetes type 1, I have like ketones in my urine and in my blood, and pretty bad and maybe I should consider going into a hospital for the setup phase and the first treatment which I then did and I, I went out of his office and two hours later I was already in a hospital like 50 kilometers away from the place where I live so I had to react really really quick which is why I couldn't post like a video where I told you what's going on so uh, yeah, it turns out I have diabetes type 1 and that's pretty much why. So in case you wonder why, you can shut off the video now in case you want like more information on that whole stuff like medicinal talk sort of. Um, you might stay in this video. I, I don't mind if you turn off now because uh, it's going to be boring for some people maybe. So why did I go into hospital? Um, I already told you, but uh, why is diabetes type 1 so dangerous when it when you first develop diabetes type 1? First of all, diabetes type 1 is like uh, a lack of insulin because some cells in your body who get rid of viruses and bacteria and stuff say, hey, you cells, you are producing insulin, but you don't belong here. Like it's an autoimmune reaction. You don't belong here, we will get rid of you, we will destroy you. And they do. And voila, you don't have any insulin anymore. And insulin is a hormone that gets rid of... It doesn't get rid of blood sugar, but... It's the only hormone that can decrease your blood sugar levels. And it does that by, by being a key, basically. So the cells in your body cannot take sugar by themselves, like glucose. They just can't. They can't power themselves with the glucose in your blood. They need insulin for that and insulin acts like a key and goes into the cell and opens it and says here, you can now take blood sugar if you want to. 
and then they get powered. This is uh, pretty much the main reason for the fatigue when you develop diabetes type 1. Because you just don't have any energy in your cells. You have really high blood sugar levels, but the sugar never gets into the cells, which is pretty bad. And it's so bad that <laughs> your body or your cells tell, hey, um, there's no energy arriving at us, please make energy, buddy. And your body says, okay, I will burn some fat. And your body burns fat and makes that into energy for the cells. And when it does that, there's certain byproducts. They're called ketones. It's like acetone and ketone, other ketones. It's basically like acid. And slowly but steadily, your body like acidifies. Which is bad because um, if the levels are too high, you will go into a coma. Which is pretty bad. <laughs> and there's a, there's a chance you will die if you don't get any insulin. Which uh, can happen with diabetes type 1 when you develop it. It's pretty rare that people die because um, the symptoms are so bad. And like in the... I had the luck I like found out relatively early. But if you don't <laughs> and you just don't go to the doctor to diagnose to be diagnosed diagnosed with diabetes. Um, in the end phase, you will like drink 40 liters of water a day and pee out the same amount. You basically, I, I heard stories of people being in the shower and basically drinking water from the shower and the same amount of water comes out at the bottom at the same time. <laughs> and doing that the whole day and stuff. So it's pretty bad. So that's part of the reason why I went into hospital, because uh, it can get worse if you don't get enough insulin. And everybody is different. Some people need more insulin, some people need less. It De also depends on how many of the insulin producing cells are left in your body. I think I have 0.3 left or something. I don't know exactly. but. Um, there's also the problem of getting too much insulin and that is a little bit more dangerous because insulin insulin isn't smart. It just opens cells and gives them energy. And if you inject yourself with too much insulin, it will get rid of all the blood sugar and then there's no blood sugar left for like your brain. And your brain pulls like a laptop and says, hey, there's no energy left. I will shut down. Let's go into a coma. That sounds like a good idea. And it does, and you're in a coma. Luckily, the brain also tells the liver, which stores a certain amount of glucose for those situations <laughs> in uh, healthy people, tells your liver, hey, release some glucose, we need more sugar. So after like five to 10 minutes, if you go into hypoglycemia, which is like low blood sugar levels for diabetics, um, after five to 10 minutes, you will wake up again and Everything is sort of fine. You will be like superbly hungry, obviously, because your brain tells, hey, we need to refill some energy. There's nothing left in the liver. However, it can also happen that that happens twice in a row. And if it does, you have a good chance of dying if you're not in hospital. Because you, you wake up and Insulin uses up all the energy the liver dispenses and you go into the next hypoglycemia and then your brain shuts down and tells your liver release glucose but your liver doesn't have any glucose anymore and exitus, you're dead, pretty much. Um, unless you're in a hospital, if someone sees you falling onto the floor <laughs> and being in a coma and injects you with glucose like directly into your veins. So that's fine. And that's pretty much about it. That's the reason why I went into a hospital pretty quick. Um, also for the setup phase, like in the setup phase, I would have to go to my doctor like every day if I do it at home because uh, they need to control your blood sugar levels and how you react to the insulin and then uh, change the doses and so on. And in hospital, you don't have that problem. You don't have to go to the doctor because there's doctors like everywhere. 
Um, so that's um, pretty good <laughs> for me. Um, what else could we talk about? So I have diabetes type 1, I need to inject myself with insulin like four times a day, which kind of sucks. Like even if I go to the dentist, I don't take like a shot with painkillers because I don't like shots. <laughs> now I have to do it four times a day myself. And that sucks. Also, I mean, diabetes treatment is pretty good by now. Like it's uh, really good if you can afford it. But I live in Germany, we have health insurance and they pay for that. And they don't pay for insulin pumps unless you have like really bad diabetes and go into hypoglycemias like frequently. Which kind of sucks because uh, with an insulin pump it's like more accurate and you only have to like inject yourself once with a pump catheter. If catheter is even like an English word, I don't know. Like the needle. And you need to change that like every three days or something. Depends on the amount of insulin you need. But it's a lot less of a hassle than injecting yourself four times a day. And it's also way more accurate than injecting yourself with a syringe or... Well, by now, most people use like pens, which are like syringes in pen form. <laughs> For some reason. <clears throat> so that sucks pretty badly. Also, technically, I can eat everything I ate before, but the treatment is going to be a lot, lot easier if I, if I change my diet, like a little bit. Like for example, eating ice with cornflakes is, uh, it's pretty hard to inject yourself with the right amount of insulin at the right time when you eat stuff like that. So I uh, need to change that or well tune it down. I will still eat it at some point, <laughs> but not as often as before. Like I love ice cream and I ate so much ice cream, especially ice cream with the like showy things like coated frosted cornflakes on top. Um, so that sucks. Also, I used to eat a lot of rice. For example, I don't really eat bread. I'm more like the like the Japanese or Asian guy who eats rice for breakfast, but can't do that anymore. Well, I can, but rice is pretty bad because it it's uh, fast. Like, the sugar in rice um, makes you... Well, it's not the sugar, it's uh, how they are called, carbohydrates, probably, in English. Um, they make your blood sugar levels rise really high, really quick, and then fall down really quick. And it's really hard to inject yourself with insulin, so all of the blood sugar level falls into your insulin injection. Um, it's quite hard, you should eat stuff with more fiber. That's uh, usually good and pretty slow, like the rise phase of the blood sugar level. And high fiber you get like in in bread, not in white bread obviously, but in like high fiber bread. <laughs> and I should eat more like vegetables and so on, but I eat a lot of vegetables already, so that's not a problem. However, what I will seriously miss is like deep frying stuff. Um, that is like the exact opposite of rice, by the way. Like if you deep fry stuff, there's a decent amount of fat in that. And fat kind of coats the carbohydrates and the sugar and it goes into your blood sugar really, really slow. And usually the insulin you inject is way too fast for that. So that's the same thing other way around. I mean, I can still eat that stuff, but I shouldn't eat it as much as before because it's going to make my life easier. Anyways, so that's why I didn't upload any videos in the last 10 days and probably I will upload a little bit less the next month or so. Just because changing my diet is like a huge change for me. Like usually I eat when I'm hungry, um, but now if I have a regular eating scheme, <laughs> so to speak, um, it's going to make therapy a lot easier, so I will try to do that. Um, which means I will eat like three meals a day, where usually I only eat two, but now I will eat three and eat in between and stuff. 
because it it's not necessary, but it makes things really a lot easier. So, um, anyways, I will die here pretty quick in this game. I hope you, you enjoyed this video. I don't know if you did, but uh, it's a little bit more personal stuff, which I usually don't do. Maybe you enjoy that, maybe you don't. And if you really enjoy that, I, I will probably do them often. And my telephone rings, which, uh, which sucks. So, I'm going to stop uh, recording here. Or not recording. I, I will stop talking and leave you with the last minute here of this game. So bye bye. Until next time. Have a good day and take care. And hopefully I will get back to my regular uploading schedule pretty quick. Sorry for the telephone. <laughs>